Hi, this is Soliart, and today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple animation with Adobe Edge Animate. Let's get started. First of all, when, when we just launched Adobe Edge Animate, the first thing that we see is a welcome page. <clears throat> In this page, we can just open a file, we can see our recent files, we can create a new, or we can use the template that Adobe Edge Animate already has. I'm just going to create a new file. What we see here is the properties panel, stage, element panel, library panel, timeline, and action. In properties panel, if, for example, I just draw a triangle, and as you see, all the, prop all the properties just light up by itself and give us all the dimension and the tools like X, Y, we can change it, we can move the object, we just put your mouse on the number and just scroll it to the right or to the left side, you can change the values or easily we can change the opacity. Now let's fill this rectangle with some color. We can have access to it from the top or we can have access from the down. I'm just going to fill it with light blue, give it some stroke. I'm just going to make this stroke like, okay, just keep it black. As you can see, you can see this stroke at the moment. What you have to do is give him the style from none to solid. And when you do that, you see there's one pixel showing up and you can just roll over your mouse on the value and just drag it to the right and you can change the stroke size. The other cool features that Adobe Edge Animate has is the transform tool. So you can easily just drag it or you don't need to just come here and just rotate it from here. You can just easily go at a corner and just rotate it from here. And you have to know that the minute you do any kind of changes, the Adobe Edge Animate behind the scene is create the HTML and CSS file for you. The other cool feature that has is the corners. This is exactly like Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign. We can change the corner by coming on this value and just drag it to the right and you can see all the corners change at the same time or I can just bring it back to the point zero and change the corners individually if I want to change a corner in this stop I'm just gonna come here drag the value to the right and you can see I have an easy round corner so there's a lot of features that we can just add and the other one is I'm just gonna delete this object <clears throat> it's how to create a type or just press T on your keyboard and just drag typography. And as you can see, you can just change the size or see that at the corner there's something that just like a sign, just press, and you can just easily change the size between them. It's called lettering. The lettering, we change the lettering, we change the height. There's a lot of cool features that you just have to play around with it. I'm just gonna delete this and let's start to create our first animation. I'm just gonna go to a library panel. You see this sign plus add an image. I'm just gonna choose a PNG file and just drag it to the image or to the stage. Just gonna scale it down a little bit so I can see all my stage. I'm just gonna hold shift. Just bring it at the bottom. I'm just gonna click the transform. And just little, rotate it a little bit. Bring it down. Make it level with the ground. Cool. To create our first animation, we have to create a keyframe, which means you have to select the object. Then 
So imagine right now I'm just going to move my object from left to the right and I'll make this a very cool animation. I'm just going to bring back my object. I'm just going to go to the X and add a keyframe. Click. And you see there's a white diamond that showed up. I'm just going to say move my object in one second from left to right. When I put my playhead here in the one second, I have to click and add another keyframe. Then I'm just going to hold my object, hold the shift, and drag it to the right. And as you can see, it just created by itself. But let's do it so simple. This is kind of an advanced level. I'm just going to turn this two object off. I'm just going to control Z, control Z. Just take back the play here at a point zero. Right now, I'm just going to control Z again. I'm just going to do it again. And X at a keyframe. Just going to say in one second. Add another keyframe. I'm just going to move my subject to the right. And you see the white diamond was hold with white and now is empty. It says that I saved the action. Right now you have to right click on me and create a transition. The minute I do that, I create the animation. If we play my timeline, bring it back from zero to the right, I can see my animation or I can easily click on play button. I can even change the duration of my animation. I'm just going to hold it and drag it to the two second. Bring my timeline to the point zero, play again. Now I can see a little smooth action. I'm just going to bring it back to the point zero as a keyframe for opacity. As you can see, I'm just going to say when you start at the point zero, I want opacity to be zero. When you reach to the point two seconds at a keyframe, opacity should be 100. And see again the whole, it means I save the action, right click, create transition. I'm going to play again, you can see a very nice and a smooth action. And at the end of it, for the end of this tutorial, I'm just going to click an effect. I'm just going to say, the minute you reach the second, the two second, I'm just going to ease out and click quad. So it says that the minute you reach at the back, I mean, you're just going to be slowly stop. You're just going to give it a very smooth action. In the next tutorial, I'm just going to show you very complex and how to compose animation in Adobe Edge Animate and a lot of cool features that the Adobe Animate has. And thank you very much for watching.